Hello, my name is Natasha and I work here at Thermo Fisher Scientific as a team leader in Grand Island, New York, supporting scientists. Today, I'm going to show you how to make bubbling lava, like you may have seen in some fun modern lamps. This experiment will demonstrate the study of matter, which is some awesome chemistry. Matter is anything that takes up space, like this table or a pizza. Even the air we breathe is made up of matter. Matter has two different kinds of properties, physical and chemical. Physical properties can be observed without changing the makeup of the matter, like folding or tearing this piece of paper. Chemical properties, on the other hand, are qualities that can be observed during a chemical reaction, like burning this piece of paper. In this experiment, you'll get to see both physical and chemical properties at play. Okay, here are the materials we'll need to complete the experiment. An empty, clear bottle. I'm using this Thermo Fisher Scientific Cell Culture bottle, but any clear bottle will work. A measuring cup. Today, I have a larger pitcher with a spout, but if the cup you're using does not have a spout, you may want a funnel that fits your bottle. I will be using the measurements on the side of our cell culture bottle today. Liquid food coloring. Glitter. This is optional, but if you do want to use glitter, a piece of paper will help you manage it. A metal spoon or a butter knife, and some paper towels in case we have any spills. Lastly, and most importantly, we need 250 milliliters of water, which is roughly one cup, 250 milliliters of cooking oil, such as vegetable or canola oil, and several Alka-Seltzer tablets or generic sodium bicarbonate tablets. Once you've gathered your materials, you're ready to get started. First, add 250 milliliters of water to your measuring cup. I'm pouring directly into my cell culture bottle because I have a spout, and this is where a funnel comes in handy if your cup doesn't have a spout. Let that sit and grab your measuring cup again. This time we're going to measure out 250 milliliters of oil. Pour that into the bottle and leave one to two inches of empty space at the top. Next, add drops of food coloring. About two to five drops. If you're looking to make your bubbling lava festive, now is the time to add glitter to your bottle. You can fold a piece of paper in half, creating a crease and then unfolding it, and it'll make it easier to control the glitter when we pour it into the bottle. But today I'm just using a spoon. So far, our activity has produced only physical changes. Time for a chemical reaction. Using the metal spoon or butter knife, break a sodium bicarbonate tablet into small pieces or use your hands. And then drop the pieces into the bottle and observe what happens. Wow, look at these bubble pockets form and ripple around the oil, making it look like one of those cool lamps. But please, be careful. If your bottle has a cap, do not seal the cap until the solution stops bubbling to prevent a gas buildup. Gas can take up a very large volume and create pressure, and that would be bad in a closed container. It's the same reason a carbonated beverage fizzes when you break the seal. So what are we witnessing? As the sodium bicarbonate tablet reacts in the solution, it dissolves, which is a chemical change, and creates carbon dioxide gas. Even though we can't see the gas itself, we can see how it pushes through the colored water up to the oil as it rises to the top to escape the solution. Have you noticed that the water and the oil didn't mix? That's because of their chemical properties. Oil is hydrophobic, which is a fancy scientific term meaning it doesn't really like water. If we let the reaction finish, and the water and the oil will settle back down again. Why does the water always end up on the bottom and the oil on top? Well, water is denser than oil, meaning that one milliliter of water weighs more, or contains more matter, than one milliliter of oil. That's why it sinks to the bottom. One of the reasons this experiment is so much fun is because you can repeat the chemical reaction by simply adding another sodium bicarbonate tablet. Go on give it another go. At Thermo Fisher Scientific, chemistry and liquid media are part of our business every day. We can create liquid solutions that remind us of this experiment as we support the work of scientists all around the world. We hope you enjoyed our bubbling lava activity. 
see you next time.